Okay, so I got another motor, which is this one. That's also an induction motor that does not have a starting cap. At least I think it doesn't. Um, did something just drop? I really hope it didn't. Uh, if something dropped, it wasn't from the motor because those parts are all here. So, <clears throat> yes, this is a small motor. Apparently from a Chinese appliance, Ningbo Baogong Electrical Appliance Co. Limited. Um, so the only down, so this one works out of the box. Um, this was advertised as working. Didn't test it yet though. Um, the only downside to this is uh, it doesn't have bearings. It has bushings. So those will wear out at some point. And and make horrible noises but the upside is um, if you can see that or not there is enough space to put a bearing in there instead I just have to fit it in here so at the moment the bushings are still pretty good there's basically no movement so I'm gonna plug this in and see if that works now, remember when I said this motor was advertised as working and that it was good and that the bearings or bushings are still good? Oh, you hear the bushing. Either there's some debris in there or the bushing spot. And this is a 52 watt motor. That's not 52. That's 14 watts. Or alternatively, uh, wait, what do I have to press here? 19 VA. So that's nowhere near 52. And yeah, I can stop this with my hand. The shorted motor just draws 20 watts. Also, it, it's humming. So yeah, let's take it back apart. Why not? Now, taking a closer look, the problem is probably that this is a 400 volt motor. 400 volts! What the fuck? I would understand 380, but maybe that's what they mean with 400. So, apparently this is not for a single phase, but for two phases. Um, yeah. Also, this is not an induction motor. This is basically four shaded pole motors shaded pole because you have like this thing here which is pretty common to shaded pole motors and <clears throat> now that's also why it's humming so much shaded pole motors hum a lot usually and what well, about the bearings i don't know well there looks like there's stuff on this so i'll get rid of this and we'll, we'll run it again Okay, so it runs just like before, uh, just with minus the bearing noise because there was apparently just debris in there. Uh, it has a M4 screw in the middle, so you can attach something to it if you want. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet because I don't have 400 watts to give it the full 50 volts power, uh, 50 watts power, and. For 14 watts, it's kind of, well, it turns at the correct speed, but it doesn't have that much power, so I don't know, a fan motor maybe, maybe for a small fan, but the motor itself is kind of big for a small fan. So unless I get two or at least, well, two or three phases here, because we only have two phases in this household, um, I can't do much with it, and I doubt that I'll be able to get two phases down here <clears throat> because that would mean uh, drilling a lot of holes into the house and people might not be very happy with that so uh, that's a curiosity I wonder what it came from like what does what uses 400 volts very strange probably some piece of special equipment um, but I'm gonna keep it for now till I find a use for it so yep now we still have to wait for one more thing that I ordered um, 
and maybe we'll win some more auctions who knows i apparently struck a really good deal with like this and this and maybe this too i mean i'm not sure about if i can even get this to work but if it works that's a good deal uh that was a great deal that was a super great deal um and yeah let's see